Hey everybody, welcome back to a new episode of D&D Quick Shots. Once again, my name is Brandon, and today we're talking about the Dagger of Venom, one of the few items that actually can give out the poisoned condition. So stay tuned. All right, so what is the Dagger of Venom? So number one, it's a plus one dagger, right? At its base, it is a magical weapon, uh, not even including the actual uh, Venom piece of it. So what you can do is, as an action, uh, you can actually have a thick poison coat the blade. Uh, and if you were able to attack somebody within one minute from that point, so again, in one minute, you can't prep it and then hang on to it for many hours, um, they have to seed, uh, succeed on a DC 15 constitution saving throw or take 2d10 poison and become poisoned for one minute. Now, let's put that into perspective in itself. If you're actually dueling somebody or you're actually going in uh, and fighting you know, anything worth fighting, most of the time, heavier creatures and things have a pretty high constitution. Um, this is going to be one of those times where, you're, you know, it, even though it's a rare weapon, is best early use, right? So this is going to be one of those things after a certain level, like let's say level five or six, you know, most creatures are going to have a decent constitution save. Um, so there's a, a decently high likelihood they're going to survive it. Uh, plus a plus one, you know, that's going to be, you know, probably late tier one play. So you're talking about, uh, you know, fifth or sixth level is actually a great time to, to include that. Um, now, the actual poison condition is fantastic. What that actually means is they have disadvantage on attack rolls and saves. Um, so when you're looking at um, not just saves, ability checks as well, um, you know, there's a lot of things that will po do poison damage, but not cause the poison condition. Um, the poison condition is extremely, extremely worth it. Um, especially if you have a character who, you know, is great at ranged attacks, can throw the dagger, um, or is able to sneak up and actually get a nice little stabby stabby in. Um, this, this works great for any time you have a character, uh, who, you know, isn't necessarily the greatest fighter or anything like that, but they need that extra little edge. It's worth even trying against, you know, some of the larger creatures around there. And I don't mean like anything that has like a, you know, plus eight to, to constitution or anything crazy. Um, but if you can give a creature disadvantage on attack rolls, um, you know, and especially one that you already know you're going to have trouble with, it's fantastic. Um, ability checks, same kind of thing, is that you don't necessarily have to plan to do a whole lot of damage. Um, you know, this could be used even in, in a role-playing sense. Like, let's say there's a, a competition of some kind, um, you know, and your character comes up and does a nice little nick on, on a guy. Um, you know, he may not know it initially, but, you know, he got poisoned. Um, so... That's one of those things that you just don't see very often in general, unless you're actually having a character who is playing with poison and actually um, trying to apply it in different ways. Um, you just don't see it very much. You know, poison's not the most effective play style, but it can very well change the tides very quickly if you can cause somebody to have a disadvantage on all ability checks and attack rolls. Um, so how I would give that out... Um, I wouldn't let them just purchase it in a store, right? That's not going to be something that would probably be legal to sell. Uh, in most cases, this would be more of a black market thing. Um, definitely worth pulling off of a uh, higher level big bad evil guy. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that it has to be any big bad, but I definitely wouldn't just be any big bad. Um, so make sure it's coming off somebody who has pretty ill will, um, the other thing, make sure that you always have your players uh, identify it before they can understand how to use that one. Um, it is a rare weapon still. Um, so at first glance, it's going to look like a normal dagger. Um, maybe embellish it a little bit, something like that. But as a whole, um, I wouldn't just give it out to anybody. I definitely wouldn't let them buy it. Um, I would do it with the plan later on down the road um, to give them a creature that they're going to need some advantage um, and that would be a great way to set a disadvantage for the creature. Uh, so that's my thoughts on the uh, Dagger of Venom. If you have any questions, definitely post them in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Once again, thanks for watching, everybody.